Guys, let me show you a minimally invasive fusion. This is a pretty great case. This is a patient who's now three months post-op from a minimally invasive fusion. The surgery is about two hours, and I look forward to showing you this case right here. Okay, so this is a patient in her mid-60s. She has spondylolisthesis at 4.5. On flexion extension, the bone moves. She said prior bilateral foramenotomies, meaning in the back, they went in and did laminotomies where they try to drill out the nerve tunnels. She has an MRI here that shows the slippage again, as well as compression here moderate stenosis at this area, squeezing the nerves, giant facets. You can see the facets are overgrown. So what do we do? In a surgery, and I just looked at the neuromonitoring time to confirm the time, in and out of the OR in less than two hours. Again, this is a patient with some extra tissue on the spine. Instead of opening up, pulling open all of the muscles on the spine, we did something pretty unique. I was able to go in there, reestablish the height. I have a bone graft spacer there, pedicle screws that go in there, that reestablishes her curvature. Again, here is the before image, yikes. Reestablishes the curvature, and here's three months out. So three months out, the spacer's in there, growing in between the bone. You can see this bone graft I left on the side, on either side here, bone graft looking great. Here is now, it's in the spacer there, the before, totally collapsed, slippage of the bone. Here is the interoperative films, wide open nerve tunnels, and now three months out, She's doing extremely well. Pretty much I'm returning her to go back to all activities. Extremely happy. I just checked my Google reviews, gave me a five star. I'm very appreciative of her. And she's now one of my good friends.